So it's raining outside and thundering. That means we can't play tennis right now. We'll be playing tennis tomorrow and then it won't rain. Can't you hear it? Yeah. I carried the baby, and I did, and I gave you stuff that you told me to do last night. Really, and I gave you stuff that you need, like water bottle for Ethan. And I clean up stuff whenever you need me to. So Brian, where are we? At Mong Village. What are we doing here? Uh, go to it. Cut Jason's hair. Yeah, Jason's getting a haircut today. We thought we'd go back to the old stylist we used, but she's at Mong Village now, so I guess we're at Mong Village. We'll probably stop and take a bite too. Mm-hmm. We'll have lunch here too. Yeah. Hey guys, so we're over here at the Mong Village. This is the place that we usually go and grab our uh, buns and everything. We've got the sesame balls here, and we've got the barbecue pork, which is great. The sesame balls, we usually get the coconut balls, and yeah, obviously coconut's great. They ran out already. As you can see, it's a pretty big spot here. This one is um, Lucky's Kitchen. So they've got all this over here too, which is pretty cool. Any three entrees of rice, seven dollars. So this is where I'm going to be picking up some um, barbecue pork, actually. Okay, so we bought some barbecue pork over at Lucky's Kitchen. Well, three of them are on a stick for five. Now, this is Brian's first taste. What do you think? Pretty good? Mm-hmm. Pretty good? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah? Try it again? I got two first. Oh, okay. Does it get a thumbs up or no? Does it? Oh, okay. Good job. Okay, let me try one. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. No, right here. No, oh, over here. Good, huh? If he likes it. If
So here is the noodle from the uh, Long King Barbecue. I like having fun here because I like their homemade noodles. It's a thicker noodle. It reminds me of like um, Hopia noodles. It actually soaks up all the, it doesn't soak up all the broth, but it soaks up the broth flavor. It gives it a nice taste and everything. So that's why I like this place the most. But as you can see, I got the uh, pho large combo is what they call it. They call it large just because of the noodle size. It's a large homemade noodle and compared to your traditional skinny noodle. So Jason, what do you think of the flour here? I think it's good. Okay, what do you like about it? Almost everything. Okay, do you like the noodle or? I like the noodles. Noodle? I like the meat, shrimp, and everything else in it. Yep. Yeah, same here. Uh, real quick here, we're gonna do a quick uh, broth test here. Here's our broth test. Usually it's a little more meaty. It's not sweet like the Vietnamese style. Let's try it again here. It's been a while since I've had it. And it's got more of a meaty flavor. It does not, it does not have that sweet taste that the Vietnamese pho has. So this is more like uh, what we consider the mong pho. It's, it's really good. I, it's, not, it's not sweet, but it's just really good. Do you um, like it more than the other two places you went to? Yeah. Yeah? So far, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's ask Brian. Brian, what do you think of it, Brian, so far? You like it? It's sweet. It's sweet? It's not even sweet. Are you sure? sweet. A little sweet, yeah, just a little bit, not much Tiny at all. Bit, I like the other two places though. I like like all the raw like sucks up the noodles. I like how and I like how it tastes. Tastes like sweet and Okay, I just wanted to show you one more thing here, real quick. Uh, the meat portion is a little different here compared to the Vietnamese pho. As you can see, this is the pork, more like pork belly. It's an actual big chunk of piece, chunk, big chunk of meat. Over at the Vietnamese place, you just get a small slice, kind of like what you would see at uh, for a uh, hot pot, actually. So I thought I'd just show you guys that the uh, shrimp is actually a uh, full, not I guess you can say full size shrimp. Almost. It's, there you go. Like the broth, you're better than, huh? Right, Brian? Uh, the other two? Uh -huh.
Waiting your turn to practice? <laughs> You're the bye boy for now? <laughs> yeah, but you're practicing though, right? Good job, baby. Okay, go find one. Good. Yes. <laughs> I think you can only do two. It is broke apart. It is broke apart. <laughs> it is broke apart. All right. Finally going, home. finally going home. After all those shopping and eating, now we're finally going home. And I can finally relax for all those hours. <laughs> it was a long day, wasn't it? Yes. Guys, I got the game. What'd you get? Not two. And I really wanted it from last year. You happy you got it now? Mm hmm. And thanks to mom and dad for buying this game for me. I appreciate it. Okay, you ready to play it? Mm hmm. I'm ready. Okay, why don't you open it then? I'm so happy. I'm going to unbox it. Where did the disc go? What? The disc is gone. What do you mean? Was there a disc in there? Yes. You sure? Yeah. Let's bring it back to the store then. When, when I opened it at home, it was there was a disc there. Wait, you already opened it? You didn't wait for mom and dad? No, I was checking to see if there was a disc. I was you checking. You should have waited for mom and dad. Now how are you going to tell the store that there's no disc inside? They, they're not going to believe you. Well, look. I guess you don't get to play Knack 2 then. Let me, let's search it. Let's search in the house. I could probably... Where'd you drop it? I might remember I dropped it inside in the house somewhere. I might... For this? Dude, really, Dad? Yeah, that's what you get for... Open it before we can look at it. Next time you should wait for us. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Next time when I got a game, I'll put wait. it inside the disc. And you'll leave it and wait. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now I'm gonna play it. Alright. <laughs> Yeah, did you go to the store and get it? Yes. I was the best buyer and bought it. Yay, awesome, huh? Yeah.